Rangers are still slipping away. There was that contact potentially with Sainz, but they've got a clean start on the far side. The Loche have got a clean start as well, and they take the whole shot. They're through to the second uh, flag first. So it's, our, uh, it's Veloce with a good start. Sides behind them, Leia Sands in that car, and RXR are using their Noah Hyperdrive already to try and gain some momentum going up that hill. They've lost out a bit, unusual for them. Katie Munnings for Andretti or Tequila at the rear. Yeah, it wasn't the perfect start, was it, for RXR? Look at the bump up here, just kicking the rear of the car around. But a great start for Ian Veloce. So they're looking for a double win up in Scotland. and say that this is their home event, if you like, for the team and for their sponsors, not for the drivers, obviously. But uh, a, a double win here would be a, a great way to grab the, the advantage in the championship. They lead the standings after yesterday. And if they carry on like this, they're going to extend their lead. So out in front, it is Kevin Hansen. Then just behind, Lia Sands pushing all the way in the Axio and Science car and she's going to want to try and claw back some of that advantage that Kevin has made. Two laps round for the final, and then they hand over to the other driver for another two laps. RXR are 6.2 seconds back, so something went on in the background, definitely, between these two cars. I saw Munnings got run out wide. Now, there's a little bit of contact just on the run into Turn 1. There's nothing wrong with the cars. Well, OK, Munnings headlights are hanging out the bottom. That's not unusual. Um, the the so, rear left seems quite low on that RXR. I just want another look at that point and, and just see if there's something going on with that car. Because you say they are a long way back at the moment for them. They're avoiding the rut on the inside here, Jenny, as well. Both the front two cars have slightly adjusted their line. RXR team, look at this. You see, they're just not going quite as close in as they were before. So drivers looking at track conditions, picking their line accordingly. Great stuff. Top drivers is what we expect to see. RXR going through, and then the Andretti car going through as well as they round down to complete their final and uh, their first flying lap and the second flying lap is incoming let's have a look yes they have got a puncture on the rear right of that car Relax, really get really yeah, really the R inside. It looks slightly soft. I don't know if it's gone completely down, but it does look slightly soft, doesn't it? And it's certainly leaning in as they came through the right hander at the end of the lap. The, the RX actually were questioning whether or not there is a slight deflation of the car. You are riding on board with I can't see whose number, car number it is. Five, Kevin Hansen, it was the Kevin leader Hansen. at the moment, his 4.8 seconds ahead of the Axiona Science car. And this is the battle for Third. It is down. It's completely down now. So it was looking half down on the run through, and you're right, the rear left has com completely deflated now. Arlen Kotlinski looks like she was really trying to hang on to it as she came up to waypoint one, and now she's got Munnings all over her. Katie Munnings needs to get through here as soon as she possibly can. Visibility again is an issue for her as she comes through, but over the jump she goes, Katie Munnings, and then Michaela Arlen Kotlinski. Kotlinski trying to lift this car back. I think they're probably going to have to do a change of tyre in the pit stop in the switch zone. Johan's going to go in, they wait until the car goes into neutral. He'll just get on with getting into the car. You can see the spare wheel here in just to the side is ready to go. So Michaela can take that in because only three people can go in the switch zone at one time. So the mechanic is already trying to get under a jack. Oh, look how but down it's in a rut, its Jenny, it too. Is. It's, in a, it's in a rut in the switch zone. They're actually allowed to use a rake in the switch zone, but look, that means it's harder to get the jack under. They have got it done. Some brute force and determination goes a long way. So, second, there's another penalty out there. Ten second time penalty for car number 27. So that makes a 20 second time penalty for car number 27. They're in third place at the moment. So it will be a good battle between RXR fit, fitting their tyre and that, um, that penalty that they've got, that 20 second penalty, but out in front. Fraser McConnell is really closing in now on Molly Taylor. Molly, though, has that hyperdrive to try and stretch a legs and get away. This is a good place to use it if you're going to use it. Try and get a bit of extra speed up into the Continental Track to Challenge. Kevin Hansen looks sort of nervously as they come up through here. Yeah, Taylor just holding on to that hyperdrive. She knows where she wants to deploy the in-out hyperdrive. Right now, that's where she does it. So, that gap is closing down, and I don't think that Anoa Hyperdrive has really helped her too much. No, I don't think that was necessarily the right place to use it. She got a bit sideways on the exit. Fraser McConnell is here now as they come into the last few corners of the final lap here in Scotland. McConnell looking left and right. He's setting the screen alight with fast sector times. The Axiona Science machine is sprayed with mud. He looks one side, then the other. Molly Taylor is holding on here for a double win for Real next Veloce. It starts at eight and a half seconds. There's just a couple of tenths in it now as they come through the final two corners. Molly Taylor down the hill to complete a brilliant double at home for Eon 
next for Loche Racing. Fantastic for her and Kevin Hansen. Fraser McCollum so close behind. Him and Lyle Sands almost got it done for Axiona Sainz. What a brilliant race between these two top teams. Go on, get in. So in fourth place, RXR. Painfully slow, but they had that puncture, had to repair their tyre. Third place, Andretti or Tequila. Second, Axiona Science. And in first place, it's the Eon Next for Lotte team. Hansen and Taylor win. Great job by them. So we say double victory for all our championship protagonists in the final again. I think the lead will have gone up slightly for Eon Next for Lotte. And we'll, uh, we'll grab those championship positions and have a look in just a few moments. Two celebrates!